So one potential thing that can cause infection and transfer is door handles. And so I'm going to propose a solution to that. Just raise the temperature of water here to 90 degrees. I bought this 20 cent one kilo packet of salt and I have a little container here. So I'm gonna pour the water in there. And then I'm gonna keep adding salt until I and stirring it until I see some crystals at the bottom, meaning that it's a supersaturated solution. Okay, so I think that's nearly there. I can't seem to get much more salt to dissolve into this water. It smells a bit like being at the beach, just not quite. So now I'm gonna drop uh, my child's old socks in here and that's wonderfully soaked up the solution there okay that's one we have another one here this is for both handles on the front door of the house okay. now you can let these dry out naturally I'm going to put them in the oven I want it to Crystallized, but the idea is that this has um, a, a good layer of salt on there. There they are in the oven. Here is the treated salty sock on the door handle, and here is the treated sock on the door knob. If this does uh, wear off or whatever, you can take the cable tie off and retreat it. Another place which is a contact point for many people in the homes is light switches and so what I would propose here is you had a piece of absorbent fabric and this was treated with the saline solution and dried and then it was bonded to the uh, light switch. Now if you were commercially producing these you would have a let's say a plastic back with a not too sticky but sticky glue and the front side would be the absorbent surface but uh, the idea would be that this is a cover for high contact areas that would kill virus in the same way that's described in the nature paper. One other potential problem area is banisters and with this you could make a starchy solution from boiling potatoes or from um, boiling rice and then making that highly saturated with salt and you could effectively make that like a paint and uh, you might sound a bit yicky but you could wash it off uh, when the uh, infection risk has passed. You could also reapply it very very easily and the other, the other advantage is that if people touched it, they would get uh, ickiness on their hand and it would encourage them to wash themselves when, when they got home. Uh, like I say, this would not necessarily uh, damage any of the banisters or, or whatever, but it would leave a coating on there uh, which is highly concentrated in salt, which may be able to do the same thing that uh, occurs um, when you salt treat masks as per the nature paper. Thank you for listening and I hope that this may help you. My name is Bob Greenier and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. This is a community interest project that is set up to look into the processes of low energy nuclear reactions to solve the energy problem and nuclear waste remediation.